why on earth would you want to make a video game? What would drive someone to develop some sort of interactive experience for someone else's enjoyment? What I'm going to do in this video is give you three particular reasons why I think it's a worthy endeavor to jump into the world of game development. So, number one is the learning factor. There's so many different things to learn when it comes to video game development and design. Uh, and I guess this is because video games are really the culmination of several different digital fields coming together. So, let me break down how it works. Really, uh, a video game is a a marriage between coding and design. You have the the coding aspect, which is like the instructions of your game, the rules, but the design is where you're actually executing those quote unquote rules. So think of it like a board game. If, if you just had an instructional manual, th there's really not much you could do with that. You need a board and you need pieces to actually execute the ideas. So for coding, you're obviously going to be learning about logic but really, the the design part, there's so many different fields. Uh, first of all, you have graphics. So whether it's a 2D or 3D game, you're going to have some kind of visual representation of what's going on. So that includes the characters and also the, the general environment that you're in. So for 3D games, usually there's some sort of external 3D modeling program that you'll be using uh, to create those models. Uh, and if it's 2D, you're going to have some kind of photo or vector image editor to create what's called the sprites, which are the, the little uh, images that you have for um, characters um, or just the general background. You're going to have to create that as well in, in 2D, like I said. So if you want to animate these different elements, uh, a lot of times you'll do this in the modeling software or image software that you use to create the element. But sometimes you can animate it in the game engine itself or do something else like motion capture to create the animation uh, movements. Uh, but you can see how, how complicated it already is. And we haven't even gotten to audio. So the idea of sounds in your game, whether it's music where you're creating songs to have in the game or uh, sound effects. You know, it's a whole different field. In, in the one case, you'll need some sort of digital audio workstation to create music. And in the other case, you'll need a sound effects generator to do so. And this is a good time to point out that you don't necessarily need to be creating all of this yourself. I'm just talking about it as if you're going to do everything from scratch. A lot of times you can purchase assets on an asset store, or obviously you could hire someone who specializes in a particular field to create the elements for you. But this whole video is from the perspective of if you're going to do it all yourself. Uh, but anyway, I, I've been dealing with this particular reason for too long. Let's move on to the second reason that I have for making a video game, which is the empowering factor. You are controlling the digital world that exists. And it's very cool. It's like a sort of digital playground where you are in the driver's seat. So, for example, let's look at this cube right here. I can move it up. I can move it down, left, right. I can throw it away. Uh, even the ground, I mean, the, the general environment that you're in can be changed um, to your heart's content. So this is a big reason, and it actually brings me to my next reason, which is the fun factor. Sometimes you're going to be banging your head against the wall trying to debug some sort of problem that you have. But when you're not doing this, the playtesting aspect of game making is super addicting. So basically, you are designing and creating an interactive experience, which you then are interactively experiencing. And so you go back and forth between the two, and it's very fun. Um, if you're trying to, to cut down on the amount of video games you play, try making one. Because you'll be learning, you'll be empowered, and you'll be having fun while not wasting your time uh, playing someone else's interactive experience. Anyway, those are some of the reasons that I have for making a video game. Uh, obviously, there's more, uh, but I do want to point out that if your main motivation for making a video game is to make money, 
you might be setting yourself up for disappointment because these days there's a lot of factors working against you. You have a saturated market. You have so much competition with, with so many game engines and and kids being taught to code pretty much right out of the crib that it's, it's really going to be hard for you to make a profit. But... Um, obviously, it's still possible, and it's really up to you. I, I'm just some random person on the internet. With that said, I wish you the best of luck in whatever you decide to do, and I hope you have a great day.